To sew on buttons, what you're going to do is start off by selecting stitch number 9. When you do that, you're going to notice that there is no presser foot recommended, a big X through it. So take the presser foot off. We're going to use just the ankle to sit down on the button. Feet dogs are going to be lowered. Slide that to the side to lower them down to the minus side. And then you'll look at the next picture. It is indicating that you can use the multi-purpose tool to create the shank of thread. If you're using the buttons or stitch them on decoratively, like you're just creating a scene with them or embellishing, you don't need to use this. But if you're sewing something that you're going to button to the button, like a, a blouse or pants or a curtain tie back, you've got something going underneath it, you do want to give it a little bit of shank of thread. Thick side, thin side, that's super easy. And the last picture is, it says right now, times eight. The needle's gonna go back and forth through the two holes eight times. So you can increase it or decrease it as you need. If you want it stitched on a little bit extra, that would be fine. Let's do this with the shank of thread. I'm gonna slide this underneath. Hand turn, here's the key. Hand turn the needle into the left the, uh, eye of the button, then lower the presser foot down. So that means everybody's secure. I do like to hand turn one full stitch so I make sure my button is lined up okay. And also on the stitch width of the machine, it presets it for four millimeters. Most eye buttons are gonna be about that size so you don't have to do too much. Go ahead and let it stitch. It's gonna do the eight times and then stop with the locking stitches at the end. You can use the selective thread cutter and actually it will know which hole to go into so it doesn't break anything and then it just pulls right on out. Now if you're doing a button that is with four eyes, especially this small one here, what I would recommend is doing the front two first. So that gives a little bit more of the ankle room to sit down on an actual part of the button. Sometimes if you get too close to the edge, it kind of will um, <laughs> slip off of it. We don't want to do that. Press the swing of the needle. There's the swing. That one's a little big actually, so you can narrow it down. I'm gonna go ahead and do about like so. Test the return swing. Make sure you didn't get it too small. And then go ahead and stitch back and forth and that will stitch it in place. Once you have the front two done and it's a small button, what I would do is actually turn it around and then do the remaining two. So that's super easy to sew buttons on. Stitch number nine's right at your fingertips and um, never have to do it by hand again.